I'm Dr. Tiffany Lamont from Lamont Wellness, and today I'm going to be doing a recipe of a red wine tomato sauce with mussels. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use avocado oil for the pans. And the reason I'm choosing avocado oil, it has a much higher smoke point than olive oil. So if you're going to be, you know, generally speaking, extra virgin olive oil, you kind of want to use that more for seasoning. Although I can't get my family to stop using it for cooking. And then in one pan, here, I have water coming to boil for pasta, which we're gonna be using a chickpea penne pasta. This is a high protein pasta. Um, the consistency is pretty good, it's not awesome, but it's super high in protein. You can use any pasta you like, but you know we use gluten-free pasta in our house. And then in this pan, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to saute a whole onion. And this was actually two humongous cloves of garlic, but it's probably more like six cloves of garlic. Now that's all depends on how much garlic you like, okay? And then in this pan, I'm just heating it right now for the mussels. So you'll saute this until they start to become translucent. So I'm gonna cook the mussels in this really humongous cast iron pan. The reason I'm not doing them all together is because tomatoes can kind of take off the the seasoning of a cast iron pan, and plus I have a ton of them. So I got these mussels fresh. So I, I, not, I froze them. And a, couple, a little tip for mussels, if they don't open, don't eat them because the mussel was dead. So I'm gonna throw like a half a cup to a cup of water in with the mussels to help steam them. Okay, so now the onions are starting to be translucent, so if you want to come take a look at that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one cup of red wine, and that will kind of deglaze the plant, the pan. I'm going to let that simmer. And the water in the back is starting to come to a boil for the pasta. So now I'm going to put the pasta in. And I feel like gluten-free pasta is even more picky than regular pasta, so I'm gonna, it's only gonna be cooked for five minutes. And I'm also reducing the wine down to make a little bit of a reduction. Probably do it for another minute or two, and then I'm going to add the tomatoes. Now I'm gonna turn the temperature of the wine sauce down a bit. And I'm gonna add a very large can of crushed tomatoes. And then I really like these fire roasted diced tomatoes as well, so I'm gonna do a can of those. And then a big old pile of fresh chopped basil. Kind of a heaping quarter teaspoon of pepper. And I'm going to save the salt until the end because I'm going to do it to taste. And now I'm going to turn the heat off on the mussels. And you can do this a couple different ways. You can actually pour the mussels directly into the sauce. If you want to be nice, my family doesn't like really peeling them, you could take them out and put them in the sauce. Or you can plate it, put the sauce on, and then put the mussels on top. Totally up to you. Okay, pasta's done. So I'm going to bring it over to the sink and drain it. tip it on the side like that and if with a lot of gluten-free pasta you can rinse it under cool water to stop it from cooking so I'm gonna do that a little bit and then leave it to drain now I'm going to plate the sauce on the three dinners and the two lunches so for the mussels, I think today I'm going to pull them out of their shells and place them on top because my family appreciates that. So here's the final dinner. Now it looks always prettier if you leave the mussels in the shells, but I'm trying to be nice to my family. And then so we have three dinners, two lunches, and then an extra serving of sauce. And then if you're vegan, you can make this sauce and there's plenty of protein in the chickpea pasta. And then if you also eat dairy, a good sprinkling of Parmesan cheese on top of this would be nice as well.